Hi and welcome to Acoustic Appraisal. Today I have the Gale 3010S. These are the smallest speaker in Gale's range and are, I think, as far as I know, the cheapest that they offer. Uh, these can be picked up for around um, £50 brand new from Richard Sounds or if you have a look on eBay you'll be able to pick them up for a lot less. For example, I bought these speakers around two weeks ago uh, from eBay and I paid £22 including delivery. Now, um, these speakers that I bought had the grills missing and uh, have a few wear and tear marks but if you look around a bit more and are willing to spend maybe an extra tenner then you'll probably be able to find a better quality speaker than, than what I managed to find. Right, so these particular speakers from Gale are uh, rated at 80 watts with an impedance of 8 ohm. This means that they should be quite easy to drive and easy to pair with a small hi-fi unit or a small amplifier. Uh, these particular speakers from Gale have a 3.5 inch paper cone and a 19mm soft dome tweeter. So I'm not really expecting much but then again I might be surprised. Right, so uh, up next I'll be talking more through the aesthetics and uh, the features of this speaker. Right, so here we are on the aesthetics portion of my review. So I'd like to start off by saying that these are available in two colours. You've got uh, the black and beach. So as you can see, the ones I've got in front of me are the beach. In my opinion, these look better than the black ones because they've just got a bit more about them. They're quite clean, look pretty modern, and um, the silver sort of surrounds around the tweeter and the driver look quite nice. Whereas the black one is just all black and it's just sort of a bit a bit dull. Uh, looks wise, um, because they're quite compact, I'd say they wouldn't suit. Um, stands, whereas they're probably more suited to being wall mounted or possibly on a bookshelf next to a small hi fi. Uh, I'd like to talk about the vinyl now, and um, as you can see, the vinyl is, is, is quite good actually, it's, it's not bad for the, uh, for the money. And uh, the vinyl quality is actually pretty good in comparison to some of the other rifles at this price bracket. Uh, so now I'm just going to talk about the features. And because they're a budget speaker, there isn't many. So you've got your soft dome tweeter, your paper driver, and then round the back, you have the terminals for formal banana plugs and bare wire and um, the mounting so it's all, it's all pretty basic stuff what you will notice is there's no base port so maybe this might suggest that these could possibly lack base but we'll have to see but overall these are quite a nice little speaker uh, with no real letdowns at this price so next up we have the sound test, which is where you can actually hear what these speakers sound like in action.
So you've just heard the gales in action, and what you'll probably notice is that they actually produce quite a sub substantial amount of bass in comparison to what I actually thought they would. Uh, so it's obviously clear that the engineers knew what they were doing, and they knew that they didn't need to port them in order to get decent levels of bass. I noticed that the vocals are quite clear and well defined, but the mids they were just lacking a little bit. Uh, these speakers fill a medium sized room okay, but I think they'd struggle with anything larger. So I'd say they'd best be suited to sort of a medium sized to small room. The other thing I noticed is that they were quite quiet as well. Now for such a compact speaker that's, that I thought would be pretty easy to drive, it actually turned out to be the opposite and they're actually slightly more difficult to drive. So, I still stand by what I said, and when I said that these speakers would be best suited to a surround setup, probably at the rears in a home cinema. So, at, well, between 20 and 50 pound, I think they'd be a nice complement to a budget home cinema system. So, just to sum it up, overall, I mean, they're a cheap speaker, best suit, sort of a cinema system, rather than um, being your main set of speakers. But overall, yeah, they're, they're not bad. I mean, for, for the money, they're good, but for a few extra pounds, you, you, can, do, you can do better. Right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.